already started yeah, for some kids. kids yeah. So what better way to commemorate it than with a photo op? And here to help us do that is Hallmark artist Josh Scruggs. And he's going to show us how to make a chalkboard sign to capture that very important day in our child's life. Yeah. So this yes. was inspired, Josh, by your daughters. Yes, uh, when she started kindergarten, we just wanted to mark the occasion with um, a, a sign and um, capture her dreams with what she wants That's to so, be when, when she grows up. What a great idea, because a picture says so much, but this says even more, you know? And that was, your your older daughter is the one that started with, who's yes. now in third yeah. grade. Uh -huh. And this, by the way, is such a big trend. I wasn't kidding at the beginning. It's all over Instagram. It's all over Twitter, where oh, the yeah. kids are all holding the little chalkboards. Oh, yeah. so, so what do we need to do something like this, material-wise? So it's, materials are pretty basic. Uh, just chalk and uh, just any kind of chalk sticks. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a ruler if you want to put some guides down. Sure. Um, paper towel for an eraser, and um, you can you can sharpen your chalk with a with a I sharpener. Did, I did not know that. Neither did I. I Which didn't realize is... that was a thing to do. Okay, so so you got started a little bit earlier today, and you made one that was pretty advanced. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Tell yeah. us what you did. So I'm laying down some guidelines and roughing out my the layout of it. I, we start with the first day, and we do a big number um, because I think the number is kind of the star of the chalkboard for the for the mm -hmm. grade they're in. Uh, do a write out the grade and with some flourishes to fill in some space. Um, and we add uh, when I the line for when I grow up I want to be, and then ask your child in the morning what they want to be and fill that in. So your third grade daughter wants to be an actress. Yes, uh, she started a, a play this summer she and did. Oh, really fantastic. enjoyed it. What play? Right. Uh, Once Upon a Mattress. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, you know, we know some people. Yeah. I think we could maybe work we could it make, out. My appeal to you. I know we some people some who sell calls. mattresses. <laughs> uh, this a store, actually. Uh, a couple of questions. First of all, this is a big chalkboard. Uh, did you yeah. make it? Do you buy them? What I just uh, bought a piece of plywood at the hardware store um, and covered it in chalkboard paint. Um, oh, it. interesting. Yeah. Okay. And could you, and I just saw, and this is just my own personal thing, but I think I would, it's great. I like that she wants to be an actress, but I almost would want to see their handwriting. In there, oh my, that way, that way, it's, it's a little bit of a time stamp, you know, because yeah. you, a great idea. They, it, it changes great over idea. time Start and whatnot. So, but, besides the tip that Mark just gave us, <laughs> well, no, I just saw that and I thought that would be really cool to see Kyra Avery in third grade handwriting be, cute. you know, nuclear scientist. Are there any tips <laughs> into creating this besides yeah. sharpening and, and having great penmanship? <laughs> Right, yeah, so I mentioned um, you can sharpen your chalk and that really helps to get the fine detail. Um, one tip is to cover the, the chalkboard with a, a layer of chalk and smear it. Um, your lines erase better that way. Oh, wow, oh. Um, I did not know that. So then you don't see like an obvious line if you have to go back and erase. Yeah. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, yeah. can you show us how we could create this ourselves? Yeah, I'd love to. Or at least how you do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> how you can create this. Yeah. So right. you can start with, uh, you know, whatever kind of handwriting you do. And then if you want to make it a little more interesting, um, the thick and thin contrast is what makes lettering uh, kind of more interesting. Um, so basically all you want to do is on the downstrokes, the strokes that you're pulling towards yourself, just give those a little bit more weight. Um, weight those oh, up. Every that. time you're an upstroke, is going to be thin. Just keep it monoline. Um, oh, is that a rule when you're sort of doing calligraphy looking things or is this something you just came up with as you were going along? Uh, that's kind of the rule and it's kind of the way on calligraphy the, uh, uh, pens the work and, and all that's of that. That's beautiful. Yeah. How so cool. let me ask you this though. Your handwriting is clearly beautiful. Now you do have a solution for people like Myself and Mark, who maybe wouldn't be, or maybe I should just say myself. I apologize, Mark. Yeah, I don't know why you're dragging me into right. your inefficiency. Who, who maybe whose handwriting isn't as beautiful as yours? Yes. So we have done um, for grade for grades preschool through uh, through sixth grade. You can download these uh, pre-made chalkboards on the ThinkMakeShareBlog.com and and fill in the bottom yourself with what your and that's your where child wants to Avery be. or Kyle yeah, or they Parker would Rose could in. write their name. I'm going to be yeah. just like my awesome dad who has bad penmanship. <laughs> that's what they'll say. But this is great because this is really your penmanship. This is yeah. your writing. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. That's so Thank you so and much. And Hallmark, for that. by the way, also has you covered for some great back to school products which are available from their very popular itty bitties for children and their line of Oat Girls products. That's for your tweens and your teens to office supplies. Hallmark 
has you covered. Yes, they do. Thank Fun you so stuff. much, Josh. That Thank was you. so awesome. Perfect. Is it okay to tell my daughter that I actually wrote this? Oh, oh sure. Probably no, not. That's sure. cheating. For more creative <laughs> ideas, visit thinkmakeshareblog.com and be sure to visit your local Hallmark Gold Crown store or hallmark.com for these great back-to-school items.